Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Cesium to generate realistic environment using Google Maps. Now, the Cesium plugin is nothing new. It came out about two years ago, but recently, I believe last week, Google decided they wanted to share their APIs with everybody. So, that being said, with Cesium and Google Maps together and in Unreal Engine 5, you get an amazing result. So, First things first, go ahead and go to your marketplace and you type in here Cesium. And what you're looking for is the Cesium for Unreal. They don't have the 5.2 yet, but I'm pretty sure it's going to come. Install it to the engine. I already have 5.1 installed, so I don't have to do this. And then next, what you'll do is just go to your library, create a new project, a blank one if you'd like to follow along. I already created one here just for the sake of time. It's brand spanking new. Once you have your new project open, just go to Edit, Plugins, and type in Cesium. And you're going to enable this, restart your Unreal Engine editor, and that's pretty much it. So I already have it enabled, I already have it restarted. And what I'll do right now is just reset this window that we have, load layout default. And you're going to see on the left side, you're going to have the Cesium window open already. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll create a new level. I'll just create a new empty level right now. Then I'll press control space bar. I'll just dock that in so I can see what's going on. You are going to have to log in. So I'm going to go connect to Cesium right here. It's going to ask me to log in. I'm going to use my Epic Games credentials right here. So you can see. Okay, so once I'm logged in using my Epic Games account, I'm just going to say allow everything successfully authorized. That's great. I can minimize this now. And now we're logged in Cesium right here. So with that being said, let's go ahead and create a sky so it's not just pure darkness. Additionally, I'm going to create a blank 3D tile asset right here. So now you're going to see on our outliner, we have a tile asset and we have GeoReference and we have Cesium Sky, which is pretty nice. So the next part of this, you're going to need to sign up for the Google Maps tile, which is going to ask you for your credit card. Unfortunately, I guess it's how they're battling AIs or whatever. So now that being said, I'm not going to make a full tutorial. I'm going to put this link in the description below. Just go to this website. And what you need to do, so you can see right here, you're going to need to enable billing. You're going to have to enable the map tiles API. And what you want out of this entire thing is an API key. So once you're signed in, created an account, enable the plugin like this. I guess I'm going to go ahead and enable it so you can see. So I'm going to log into my account right now so you can see it. I already have a project right here. And you're going to see that the Map Tiles API is enabled. This is what you want, and it's going to spit out an API key. That's the most important part. So once you have the API enabled and the API key, go ahead and go back to Unreal Engine 5 right here. And if you scroll down right here for source and then look for source, change this from Cesium Ion from URL instead. And then I'm going to copy and paste this thing right here. So this right here I got from the Cesium website. You can go ahead and go to that website and get the same exact one. But just for the sake of, you know, making it a little bit faster, I'll put it in the description below. But you're going to copy this here. You're going to put an equal sign. And then you're going to copy and paste your API key after the equal sign. So, so for me, I'll just go here. See my other screen, I'll copy and paste that there. Okay, and now that's going to generate an environment for us. Whenever you're seeing this on your screen, that means that it's connected. The Google Maps API is now connected to Cesium, which is kind of cool. And then next, what I'm going to do is look for the longitude and the latitude of a city. So in this one, we're going to be doing Budapest because honestly, Budapest is amazing. I didn't expect to like Budapest, but I fell in love with Budapest whenever I actually visited it. So let's go right here and type in Budapest longitude and latitude coordinates. And I'll minimize this here. So we're just going to copy and paste this here. We're going to go to the Celsius Geo Reference. For the latitude, I'm going to copy that, paste that there. And then the longitude, I'm going to go like so. And then it's just going to go black real quick. You're going to see the sun rising. It's so beautiful. But no, this is honestly just loading uh, Budapest for us, which is, again, pretty cool. And there it is. This is real time. I didn't pause the video. Now we have Budapest on our screen. I can scroll in there just like you would regularly by holding the right-click mouse button and WASDing. 
But with that being said, I'm going to go show credits. So so I'm going to go ahead and say show credits on the screen because this is Google. Uh, we just want to make sure that we're not going to get canceled by Google because that would not be good. Since we are using their API, I'm going to give them credit right here in the bottom left corner. So here is Budapest or Budapest, whatever you want to call it. This is Hungary's, uh, one of Hungary's uh, beautiful city. And just like that, we are in here. So what I was looking for was the Hungarian Parliament uh, little building right here. This is really pretty. I took the actual uh, pocket cinema camera 4K when it first came out. I uh, had it. I unboxed it in Budapest and just made a video with it. I fell in love with that camera. Absolutely amazing city to be testing a camera. So that's a really pretty city. And then right across it, uh, they have this little wharf little area that's also pretty. I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull it up. I think it's right here. Yeah, this right here is also really beautiful. Again, Budapest is one of those places that I didn't think I was going to like. But if you want to see my actual travel video using the Pocket 4K in this city, I'll put the link in the description below. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find it, but we went to this restaurant like every night just eating their beef goulash because it's so good. My little daughter at the time, she was like two or three. She absolutely loved it. But yeah, that being said, that's pretty much it for this video. That's how you use Cesium to travel to different cities. I'm going to be doing a lot more videos on this, really just creating some cinematics in here i uh, hope you all learned something new today if you haven't checked it out i did create a video about my js films mocap helmet that i am actually taking pre-orders right now if you don't know what i'm talking about i'm going to start selling a diy uh, mocap helmet that we can all use using live link or iphone check it out in the link in the description if you want to pre-order it definitely let me know send me an email because honestly i, I ran out after making that video last night so uh, that being said that's it i'll see y'all in the next one Peace out.